So very important question, 2019's Freightliner Cascadias. What kind of fuel consumption are we gonna get on these units? As owner operators, we're highly dependent on the consumption of these units. How much money am I gonna be spending on fuel every single month? Is there a difference between winter months and summer months? How much money does that actually equate to at the end of the month? In this video, I'll be going into my computer analytics and getting the data for you so you can make a decision on whether you want to purchase these units or not. All right, so let's get into the fun stuff. So question number one, is there a difference between the fuel consumption in the summer and the fuel consumption in the winter? So yes, there is a difference, and now we're gonna go over how much of a difference. So I've taken three samples of our 2019 Freightliner Cascadias that are on the road. Um, I've taken three different unit numbers, and I've taken the months of uh, June and July. So those are our summer, uh, months and I've taken the exact same trucks for February and March. So February and March are here in Ontario are, are, are still very cold and um, we're still in the midst of winter in February and March. So those are the samples that we're going to be comparing. So we're going to be comparing three trucks for June and July and the exact same three trucks we're going to be comparing for February and March. So let's dive into it. Um, so here we are with 60 days worth of data for June and July, and I'm going to be selecting these units. So the first one I'm going to be selecting is unit number, uh, that one, which is a 2019 Freightliner Cascadia. Um, and here's what I'm getting for data. So the driver drove in those two months 22,000 miles, which is a very good uh, sample pool, so over 11,000 miles a month. Um, and what he's getting and reporting is 8.0 miles per gallon. We'll take unit number 661, uh, where this driver drove in 60 days, 23,000 miles in these 60 days. And you can see here that he drove the average uh, for these miles, he drove 8.1 miles per gallon. And then our third driver, so this driver in two months um, did 29,400 miles, so a much bigger um, sample of miles. Um, so 8.4 miles per gallon is what this driver did, which is um, a little bit more than the first two units. So let's take the exact same units. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the dates to the winter months. So we have February, um, and March. So now we're doing these 60 days, which is February and March. And we're going to be selecting the exact same units. So we're going to start off with unit 660. Um, so where the driver did 19,800 miles. Um, and now you can see that his fuel consumption for those 60 days dropped significantly to 7.2 miles per gallon. So here we have a driver that drove eight miles per gallon in the summer months, and in the winter months, he drove 7.2 miles per gallon. So let's see if it's the same for all three trucks or is it just one truck? Um, so let's take this unit um, and we will do a comparison. So this unit dropped from 8.1 miles per gallon, which is the in the summer months and in the winter months the same truck with the same driver did 7.0 miles per gallon so the difference is between 8.1 to 7.0 um, so as you can see there's a, a, a big um, decrease in fuel consumption from the winter months to the summer months so let's try unit 662 um, so the problem is with this unit um, we don't have that much of mileage production so this is really uh, not so relevant, uh, but he did drive 7.6 miles per gallon instead of 8.4 miles per gallon. So this, uh, so this driver decreased from 8.4 miles per gallon to 7.6. So I guess it's fair to say that our fuel consumption significantly dropped um, on average about one mile per gallon. So on one mile per gallon, what does that mean? Uh, which we're gonna get into our second question, which is, how much money does that equate to actually um, in a month? 
Okay, so we determined that the 2019 Freightliner Cascadias in the summer months get an average of eight miles per gallon. If the 2018 gets eight miles per gallon, so the way that I calculate it is if a driver drive 11,500 miles, he consumes 1,437 gallons. Okay, so at eight miles per gallon, he consumes 1,437 gallons, which equates to $4,800 US. So for us on the Canadian side, uh, $4,800 US based on today's conversion rate, which is at 1.34, the driver would have spent $6,400 Canadian or $4,800 US. So we're talking about a driver that only fills up in the US. I'm not gonna get into the, uh, if a driver fills up 100% in Canada, but in the US he fills up 48, 15 US dollars, 65, almost $6,500 Canadian. Okay, that same driver in the winter that gets seven miles per gallon, okay, he spends, he burns 1,642 gallons, which is based on today's national average, which I took 3.35, um, which is $5,500 US, uh, which is $7,300. $74 Canadian once I converted that. So the difference between the Canadian, the difference between summer driving and US driving, um, you save $921 um, when driving in the summer. So your, your, your truck will consume more fuel, this much more fuel based on today's fuel prices. Okay, so that answers the question, what is the difference between summer months and winter months? So another um, example that I'm gonna be giving is, I, I in the beginning of the video, I said I'm gonna take two sample drivers, one of them that drives at six miles per gallon, and one of them that drives at 7.5 miles per gallon, and I'm gonna do a comparison on their usage of fuel. So here I built a chart, and basically it takes the exact same uh, mileage, which is 11,500 miles, and if this driver consumes fuel at six miles per gallon, he's gonna burn 1,916 gallons. 1,916 gallons equates to $6,420 US. Um, and that's with taking the national averages at $3.35 per gallon. And when we convert that into Canadian funds, it's $8,600. So $8,600 is what I would spend on fuel if my truck consumes fuel at six miles per gallon. Now, if I take the exact same truck or if I take a different truck that drives at 7.5 miles per gallon, the formula is over here where the driver drove 11,500 miles, he consumes 1,533 gallons based on the exact same numbers, $3.35 per gallon. He's spending $5,136 US, which is equivalent to $6,883 Canadian. So the two trucks driving the exact same distance, one of them is driving at six miles per gallon, the other one is driving at 7.5 miles per gallon, you get a saving, total savings for one month is $1,720. Now this is huge, $1,720 every single month. So things that you can do on saving uh, fuel or getting better fuel consumption. So the number one thing is obviously idling. If you idle less, you will burn less fuel. Uh, there's a big difference between a driver that shuts off his truck at night versus a driver that leaves his truck on all night to run. The second thing is speed. As you all know that speed, the faster you go, so a driver that drives uh, at 69 miles per hour versus a driver that drives at 64 miles an hour, they're going to have a different fuel consumption. So the, the closer you are to 65 miles per gallon, even less because uh, uh, there have been studies that, that show that you're burning less fuel at 62 miles and 61 miles per, per hour. Um, so if you stay to the 60 to 65 miles per hour versus closer to the 70 miles per hour, you will, your truck will burn a lot less fuel. Um, a third thing that we do talk about here at our company is the acceleration. So the, the faster that you accelerate, the, the more you're gonna be burning fuel. Uh, the drivers that will accelerate slower uh, will burn less fuel than the drivers that you know hammer on that pedal. 
So there you have it. There's some great tips on uh, how to save or how to, how to make your truck more economical or how you can bring more money home at the end of the month doing the exact same thing. I hope this video has brought you a lot of information. Uh, I will be doing more videos comparing trucks, um, Volvos to Freightliners, Volvos to Peterbilts, Volvos to Kenworths. Uh, taking different sample years. I, I will also be doing videos comparing a 2017 Cascadia versus a 2020. Have these manufacturing companies done a better job uh, for us to save more money on fuel? If you find this information helpful and you like this video, subscribe to our channel. We create tons of videos on trucking related topics. See you in the next one.